Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Today, I'm going to do a fun water and oil project. Um, I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of science with art mixed in. Um, what you're going to need is some white pieces of paper. Um, I cut mine in half because the first one I did was a little too big, so I think it'll work better with a half a piece of paper. Um, baby oil. Um, different watercolors, or not watercolor, I'm sorry, different food coloring, because we're going to make watercolor. Now, the water and oil do not mix, so when you try and mix them together, you'll see that there's little tiny, like, bubbles that the oil will make, and it'll mix with the colors, and that's why you'll see the little bubbles. Otherwise, it's hard to see um, if it's just baby oil and water, but I will show you. Put a little baby oil in the bowl. And then let's add a little water. And if you try and mix it up, it doesn't really mix in the, um, I'll show you the oil floats on top of the water. I'm not showing you very well. Sorry. Still not sure. There we go. The oil, you can hardly see it, and it sits on top of the water. So when you add, when you want to add color to it, then the bubbles will show up better. So I think I'm going to do a blue this time. Put some blue in the bowl and add some baby oil just a little bit you don't need a lot and then it's best to use a fork you take your fork and you stir it up stir it up try and get the oil mixed in with the food coloring mix it up and you can see that it turns into these little, like, bubbles. I know it's hard to see, but you'll see it when you make it. And then we're going to take the water and add the water in. And mix it up. And now it's better to have a pan that's flat um, and that has an edge on it. So you can see this has like an edge on it so that the water doesn't coloring off. A cookie sheet could also work. It has a small edge. Um, small ledge on it. Just be real careful. Don't add a lot of water because it'll go all over the place and you don't want a big mess. Um, and it's better if the sheet's flat. Unfortunately, this pan I have is not completely flat. So when I pour the water in it, it goes to the sides instead of staying in the middle. But a little bit did stay in the middle for me. You can see that. Most of it went way over to the side. But that's okay because it still worked what I wanted it to do. So now I take the piece of paper and I'm going to lay it this way on top where most of the oil and the water are. And I'm going to count to 15. Can you help me count to 15? That would be great. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So now as you were counting to 15, you could see how the oil and the water was spreading across the water. Now carefully lift your paper and make sure you drip all the oil off. So this was my first one that I did on a big piece of paper. Didn't turn out as well, but this one definitely turned out better. See, look how cool the pattern it made. It almost looks like the ocean. Okay, I'm gonna put this one drying on top of a paper towel on top of another pan. So this I'm gonna take and I'm gonna get rid of that oil and water. And now I'm going to add a second color 
I'm not going to take off all that blue. As you see, it still has a pattern on there. But this time, I'm going to add a second color. This time, I think I'm going to add maybe red. Okay, so I'm going to take some more baby oil. You don't need a lot. And my red. And mix it up. Again, mix it up as much as you can. Get all that red. As much of red you can. A little more red. And that, it's food coloring. So if you get the food coloring on you, it's not washable, so it may sting. So just be careful. Make sure you put, like, a shirt you can get dirty on or something. So now I'm going to pour it back on here again and get the red in there. Now what happens, if you notice, when you mix red and blue, it makes a different color. It kind of makes, it's hard to see in this, but it makes it like a purple. So I'm gonna let it drip down. And I'm gonna take another half sheet of paper and put it on here and we're gonna count again. And then you can watch it spread, okay? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now carefully pick up the paper. Look at that. You kind of can see some red and some blue and a little bit of purple. Isn't that cool? Very good. Well, I hope you liked our artwork today, our art project today, and I will see you soon.